Hey, what's up? What's good? There was a Nintendo Direct today that I'm going to watch alongside you. Um, I think this one was mostly focused on Fire Emblem, uh, Three Houses or whatever, which I'm not super into. I've never been a Fire Emblem player. <coughs> I'm not sure why. I just came in out of the cold. Um, it's really cold out. <sighs> But uh, I, I expect that there's going to be some stuff besides Fire Emblem, um, some stuff that I could be extremely interested in. So I figured I would do the old live react, as this channel is wont to do. Um, this is the first time I'm trying to make a video where I'm wearing my, my new headphones, which uh, they're not noise cancelling, but they're pretty isolating and they're closed back. So my apologies if I'm, if I'm speaking too loudly or too quietly, because I can't really hear myself uh, the way I normally do. All right, whatever. Oh, let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh. Oh, it's Mario World. I love it's Mario Maker, isn't it? Because this is not in Mario World. This is not a Mario World. So this is Mario Maker on the Switch. Alright, already, this is the best Nintendo Direct I could have imagined. There's slopes. Oh my god, there's slopes. Oh, I'm so happy. Holy crap. And look, what an elegant way to do slopes. Because I know before people were like, how can they implement slopes? Slopes are crazy. Oh my, this is actually so beautiful. Uh, I don't think I saw anything new there. It would be totally like Nintendo to sneak in a couple new- Oh my god, there are some new enemies! There's a new background. You can get the Angry Sun. You can make arbitrary uh, block snake paths. You had partial water. Did you see the partial water? Oh my god, you can have the, the guided scrolling. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, that's cool. They, they added Cat Bell. I wonder if that's going to be exclusive to that. Uh, okay. Oh, clear pipes? Oh my god, the fireball went through the clear pipe! Was that a tilty platform on a... Was that Yoshi... Was that a boom boom? Oh my god. Oh, this is amazing. Oh my god, that's so soon! That's actually insanely soon. Hi, everyone. <sighs> I'm Yoshiaki okay. That was a great start. <laughs> this is already so much better than I possibly could have hoped it would be. I, I genuinely thought it would be like 90% uh, Super Mario Fire Emblem. Maker, which we're of course calling Super Mario Maker 2. Okay, hell yeah. There I love Mario Maker. Features, and many new elements are in development as we speak. So please stay tuned. G game of the year, all years. All right. Next, Hands down. Let's cover today's Nintendo Switch headlines. Okay. I don't know how they can possibly top that. I mean, I'm, this, this isn't doing it for me. So, okay, so slopes are back. Slopes are... are you now able to recreate a much, much wider level, or a much, much wider range of, of real Mario levels. Slopes were definitely the thing that was missing the most. Um... I saw a lot of really crazy enemies, uh, some of which I think might be style exclusives. Like, I would be really, really impressed and amazed if, like, Angry Sun was available in all of them. And they do have some elements that would, like, switch into different things um, between game styles. It didn't look like there was any new game styles. It looked like it was still... OG, World, 3, and New. Um, and we didn't see slopes in OG either, which a lot of people were, like, really curious if that was, like, even comprehensible in the style of Mario Bros. 1. Uh, uh, oh, oh, I'm so happy. Okay, alright, that's, that's Marvel. Welcome back, Box Boy. It's Box Boy. Get ready to unload. Oh! Have fun doing it. 
I think I saw some footage of this game before. Box Boy is coming to Nintendo Switch for the first time. This brand new game is tightly packed with tons of content, including... Oh, that's... Okay, I like that. That's kind of exciting. That sort of reminds me of Jelly No Puzzle. What's Box Girl? can box it up together. To restore peace on the Box Planet, you must work as a team, solve puzzles, and beat those stages. Yeah, I kind of like stuff like this. You can access a whole separate adventure starring Cutie, the tall one. The tall... Oh, the tall one is cute. That gives me such hope for my life. <laughs> there are 270 stages to beat. That's the highest in the series to date. Use your brain boxes to think outside the box and lead our So far all of these puzzles seem extremely inter extremely trivial, extremely uninteresting, sorry. But I think the potential is there. The ultimate spring update. Oh boy. We're going to see some Joker. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is about to spring forward with the version 3.0 update this spring. It's time for Joker. You'll just have to wait to find out. Then what's the point of the Nintendo Direct? <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Challenger Pack One. He's secretly been preparing for battle, and his moment will finally come. So this is the first actual footage of his render. This year. And I assume when he lands, that's part of the animation. And don't forget, new Super Smash Brothers series amiibo figures are on the way too. All right. No footage? No gameplay footage of Joker? It's fine. Well, I kind of want to play this. This looks very cute. I played a bit, a bit of it on the, the Wii U. My, my friends had it. After a new update, all courses will support two-player co-op. Oh wow! Maybe Captain Toad won't be so nervous. That's a that's a pretty major update. Are better than one, and an extra set of hands goes a long way. That sounds like it could be a lot of fun. Free update will be available later today. Wow! I, I love that they do that. Every every direct they have a couple things that are uh, brand new. Oh, these look really nice. Objectives in existing courses. Oh, this game is just so charming. It's so cute. Shining crowd in each course, all of which can be played alone or with a second player. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker special episode will be available for purchase as soon as, well, later today. Sure, sure. Access to one of the courses. The rest of the content will launch on March 14th. If you don't have the game yet, look out for a digital bundle available on Nintendo eShop later today. It contains the full game and gives you access to Captain Toad Treasure Tracker special episode once it's available. Oh! This is by the Castlevania director that did uh, Symphony of Night. I've, I've heard this is quite good. I think it's already out on PC. The young lady Miriam, host of the Alchemist's Curse, must use her unwanted... The graphics look pretty good, all things considered. It's like a little jarring if you're very used to sprite-based Castlevania. These powers but uh the abilities of enemies. Bend gravity to the will. Start about Jeebel's castle at lightning speed. Oh, that's kind of fun. The laws of reality. You get to see the trajectory. Don't apply. Throughout the castle, a treasure trove of side quests, deadly tasks, and small touches flesh out the campaign. Your body is covered with weird decorations. <laughs> Beyond the main story, you can dig deep. <laughs> Alright, picked up. Subquests and more. This is the best reason to play. And don't be to get all the outfits. Dark side. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night emerges from the shadows this summer. Sure. Could be good. The time has come oh, Dragon Quest Builders? I, I played a bit of that in my friend's house. I really liked it. I, I really thought this is like what I wanted Minecraft to be. Aesthetically, I like it a lot more than Minecraft. Um, it feels like a little more like purposeful, I guess. Yeah, I think there's a lot to love about this game. <laughs> I can dash. <laughs> Oh, now it's really Minecraft. See, when I played... Oh, that's so cool! You get a... Breton-inspired map. Oh, 
Dragon Lord's Throne. Dragon Quest Builders 2 launches on Nintendo Switch July 12th. Sure? I don't know. It's such a big time investment to play a game like that. But first, a word from Mr. Koizumi. Well, how's it looking? Next. Dodoska. We have a new announcement. That's a Dragon Quest sound effect. Please, take a look. Is it DQ11 coming to Switch? Is DQ11 already on Switch? <laughs> Is this DQ11? Yeah, I think this is DQ11. Series that defined the genre, and the latest entry is charging onto Nintendo Switch in full force, pairing the series' beloved style and perfectly balanced battles with the most impressive scope and elaborate story in series history. Where there yeah, that's great. Darkness I would, I would like to play this. I would like to have the 150 hours that I'm sure is required to 100% this game. From a terrible land. In an odd twist of fate, the boy's royal birthright is snatched from him. <sighs> On the day he becomes an adult, he That's fine. discovers his true heritage and the powers that make him is it, is it really still just this? Is this still just the plot? That's fine. So begins the perilous journey of a hunted hero and the ragtag band of adventurers who will join him on his This quest. is uh this is what Dragon Quest looks like. Together they'll explore the towns and the, the environments are very pretty, that's for sure. You get some Ooh Controversial. Ooh, King Slime? Dude, I think Toriyama, possibly the best monster designer in in history. Just just making icons all day. You can also collect material so you can forge weapons, armor, and accessories. Sure. Looking for an item, then help people out in side quests. Sure. Oh, fun. Some poker. Sure. like these, and this time the player has the power to choose on the fly between the land's gorgeous HD vistas. Oh, that's right. I heard about this. You can play the entire game in 16-bit mode, which is bananas. So, I don't get it. Like, if you play 16-bit, does it go back to, to random encounters? You should. That means hero. Wow. Oh, that's pretty good. The, the legacy of a hero, a, a series like this, I think is pretty beautiful. There's the Puff Puff Girls, of course. Like, Final Fantasy, it doesn't seem like they're as eager to embrace this sort of legacy continuity, you know? Like, every once in a while, there'll be, like, a retro-y Final Fantasy game that comes out. And there'll be like the odd bit of fan service in all of them, and you know, like stuff like Moogles and Chocobos. They'll try to bring it back. But it seems like many Final Fantasies are like, this ain't your granddaddy's Final Fantasy. You know? That's what I want. <laughs> That's why my favorite is Nine. Nine is my hands down favorite FF. Okay. It's pretty cool. While we just announced the addition of these new stories, there will be more new information to share in the future. Please look forward to learning more. For now, let's continue with more Nintendo Switch headlines. Oh, it's Tsum Tsums! I kind of like Tsum Tsums. I think they're pretty cute. There's like a Tsum Tsum puzzle game, right? So, I assume this is more than a puzzle game. Yeah. Okay. I kind of like this uh, Mickey Mouse March remix. It has sort of a Denpa vibe. And the fact that it's like, oh yeah, this is the the Tsum Tsum. Yeah, this is the game I remember. Game, games like that, I don't know. I don't know if they'll ever interest me. The ones where it's just like identifying the biggest concentration. I guess there's somewhat of a combo element. 
Ooh, oh, wait a minute. I got really excited for a second because I saw Fox. But this is just like... The... I, I'm like kind of confused as to what this game is. It's like an existing game that they added Star Fox content to or something. Like it's not not a Star Fox game. <laughs> it's like Fox was like a bonus that they added. It looks like it could be good, though. I don't know. I mean, I really like Star Fox 64. Um, that's, like, the one I was most into. And then I played Armada, I think. Oh, is this, uh... Uh, Rune Factory? Wait, did that guy... Hold on. They, they forgot to translate that guy's name, I think. Am I crazy? Yeah, look, he's still... Reisto. <laughs> Reisto. Why? They forgot. <laughs> I don't know how to say your name. Cook up a storm. Or even raise monsters. This game looks like it could be fun. I don't know. Okay, but where's Animal Crossing? If they show Animal Crossing, I'm actually gonna freak out. To have both Mario Maker 2 and... Huh? Huh? Joran da yo. How are you gonna relax? You both are wearing armor. You guys are both wearing like full armor. Did you see? Look. That's so so sweet. Did I finally react? <laughs> Alright, sure. I feel very good for the people that enjoy that series. Hmm. Oh! Cool! As for me, I would rather play Animal Crossing and Disgaea than this somewhat hybrid. Is this Room Factory again? <laughs> Is this also Room Factory? Oh, okay. Oh. Forbidden to mourn the loss of loved ones. To uphold these tenets, Kagachi must travel between the living world and the Ooh, that's cool. That was that was a really nice effect. When battling these creatures, the lost souls you've rescued can manifest within you, granting you new powers. Each soul's powers are different, so you must choose the right soul for the situation at hand. In this deep single player campaign. Yeah, okay. I think I'm into this. You will fight and you will become stronger. I like the graphic style too. Are lost and the lost don't reincarnate. The very foundations of reincarnation will begin to crumble when Oninaki launches in summer 2019. The way they do the announcer. Oh, okay, I'm excited for this. I'm very excited for this. Oh, it's so cute. Yoshi's crafted world is almost here. This time We'd like to put the many facets of these crafted courses on display. <laughs> we'll go rafting. There's sponges. Ooh! That's, uh... That's awfully 3D. Nice shot, Yoshi. Oh, it's Britta Bashville. <laughs> Challenging bosses. I'll believe it when I see it. No, costume? Oh! Wow. Alright, I'm into that. Dang. <laughs> oh. Maybe you need save data from Labo? Oh, that's cool! Maybe I'll do that. Oh, I love these Yoshi games so much. I, I mean, I don't think they'll ever top 
Yoshi's Island, I would be shocked if they if they were able to ever match the tightness of the gameplay and the, the perfect curve of challenge. Fire Emblem Three Houses. All right, I, I don't know. I, I I don't know why I've never been super into Fire Emblem. It seems like it's right up my alley. I love tactical RPGs. I love anime. I love Nintendo. But I just uh, I just never played them. Oh my! What could have brought you here? I, I feel like the fan base is getting more and more fractured the continent of Fogland, said to be as the games the progress, Fogland, is the sense I get that some people are into the waifu bait, other people are aghast. This announcer, this narrator, kind of sounds like Ben Stein. Am I crazy? Is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. <laughs> Fargus. <laughs> Fargus. A league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor. Oh, okay. It's called the Lester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fogland and these three mighty powers so, like, exist. I don't get it. Is this the same world as other Fire Emblem games? Is this like far in the future or the past or something? Fire Emblem Three Houses game. You are the hero the world needs. Dang. You start out as a mercenary. They they really go in full waifu mode. I I, I think. After an I don't think that's a at all controversial thing to say. Within, you'll travel to Garrick Mock Monastery, where you'll receive an offer to teach at the officers' academy. Around that same time, you alone. Man, there's a lot of JRPGs. It feels like the majority of the games we've watched in this direct are are. JRPGs, where the narrator seems awkwardly to be just summarizing parts of the plot. I don't know. It's tough. It's tough to like hype up a JRPG, especially with some obnoxious guy is just talking the whole time you're trying to explain the story. But it's like, if I cared, I wouldn't want to know. If I cared and I wanted to play this game, I would prefer not to know any of the story before I go in. Right? The Black Eagles but that's just me. From the but it's it's just kind of awkward. And future Emperor Edelgard. The Blue Lions boasts Prince Dimitri of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus as its house leader. Fargus? That's a cool character design. Lester alliance. Their house leader is Claude, who is the heir of the noble family that leads the alliance. Cool. As a professor, you will lead the students of one of these houses and instruct them. In addition, oh, so you have to choose your house, of course. Students to meet, each with their own unique personalities and skills. Which house will you choose? No, <laughs> Fargus. <laughs> Definitely Fargus. Students are expected to travel to various lands, sometimes with the Knights of Seros themselves and gain real battle experience, including everything from defeating bandits to suppressing rebellions. These to suppressing rebellions? But the stakes in each Excuse me. Very real. Am, am I even in the right to be doing that? Depend on your leadership. Strategize as the battle progresses to claim victory. Are, are, are perhaps the rebellious people in the right? Are they being ruled? ruled? Unjustly by a, a monarchy descended thoroughly from hereditary factors that don't take into consideration uh, political opportunities to give the people more of a say in, in what they their own fate. You have been entrusted with their future. Monarchies is inherently undemocratic. It's a spit in the face of the idea that we're all created equal. So I would betray. I would choose zero of the houses. Or I guess that one house that's all just like noble families. But even the idea of a noble family. It's messed up. And they'll be able to better support each other on the battlefield. Okay, that mechanic's kinda cool. I, I like stuff like that. Persona does that really well, of course. The the social link leading to uh Oh Use time magic or something. 
You think this guy's gonna be playable in Smash Bros? You think they're gonna put the protagonist in again? Because we got Robin, we got uh, the dragon guy, Corrin. I feel like they won't. I feel like there's no way they're gonna put another blue haired sword man just because he happens to be the protagonist of the latest game. Would they? Would they really do it? I don't know. Uh, sure, they can do it. I don't care. <laughs> At this point, I don't care. I, I was I was so overjoyed with uh, Mario Maker 2. I don't care about any other disappointment. But more development time will be necessary. And so the new release date is July 26th. Oh, that's not so bad. I was thinking like fall or something. A little longer. But we hope you'll look forward to the next generation of Fire Emblem all the same. Sure, sure. Time for some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Okay, is there going to be one big finale announcement? In this next entry of this iconic series, oh. the last player standing wins. Okay. Okay. Is this Tetris? It must be Tetris by the shape of the block. Tetris 99. Okay, I actually love this. I'm I'm actually so happy. <laughs> Oh damn, but I need to buy the online membership. This would actually make me pretty happy because I would just win like a lot. <laughs> so that would make me pretty happy, I think, to just go online and wreck a hundred people at once. I mean, I'm not trying to sound cocky, but there's there's no way I'm anywhere less than like at the top 0.001% of players. So given a random hundred, I expect that I'm just gonna wreck everybody. To kill, survive, or die. So that's pretty sweet. That that would be pretty nice. Just go on sign and just online and destroy everyone. Tetris 99. Oh, I'm into that. It's so absurd, but I think I love it. It's battle royale. Tetris Fortnite. I don't know what this is. I don't. I don't care. None of these things I am interested in doing. Whoa! He just like copied on him. <laughs> Why did he bother doing that? Why not just kill him? Yeah. Oh, that made like a gross sound when they were acquiring skills. Is that necessary? Okay. Hey! Oh, Deltarune! Deltarune coming to Switch. I, I still haven't played it, but uh, I'd like to replay Undertale first. Just something I'd like to do sooner than later if I get a chance to. But uh, yeah, Deltarune, which like the demo chapter came out. Yeah, the chapter one. I've heard is pretty amazing. I, I hope they... Yes, thank you! Yay! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> but this is almost like... Whoa! <laughs> Dang. Dropped. I appreciate that. I appreciate the censored chapter. But by calling attention to the elements they censored, I, I assume that they perhaps implied significance. Oh! I, I had, like, forgotten this game existed, and then I was reading speculation threads about the Direct, and, uh, people were like, oh, I hope we see more of this game. I was like, oh, right. I think that's really smart, because I feel like this game could be pretty mechanically intense. So people... Yeah, get like used to it. Get used to the controls for free. Try to learn how fun it is, and then buy the full game. You know. Playing the demo, we'd like to hear your feedback. We'll be conducting a short online survey by. That's cool. All right, I like that. I like that. Everyone's gonna say too hard. Just like they did for Octopath Traveler. And then they're gonna say we don't care. Not hard enough. <laughs> so please follow the official Nintendo of America Twitter account so you can stay up to date on the latest information. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't know. This game looks pretty cool. I don't know if I care to play it, but it looks very cool. I hope it has a very high skill ceiling. That guy was really charming, I think. I don't know. He had a good, like, earnest D to him. Uh, I don't care about realistic racing. Where's Mario Kart 9? <laughs> Believable handling. That's, again, it's not what I want. I want to wiggle the steering wheel back and forth to make my sparks turn orange so my car goes super fast. Oh man, I just realized I'm going to have to buy the Nintendo Online thing if I want to play Mario Maker Online, won't I? Dang, it looks like I'm going to have to get it. This is going to be the first time I've played for an online service since, like, Xbox Live when I was a kid. Oh, well. Eh, doesn't seem... Yeah, nah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Huh? What? Made with neuroscientists and people who experience delusions? Is that what they said? So it has like audio hallucination I was hearing? I don't know if I'm into that. That seems... Like a little trivializing, maybe. Alright, I couldn't care less. I wonder if they still release sweat when they get hit. What? Oh my god, I thought this was still part of Mortal Kombat! <laughs> this looks cute. The graphics are really nice. Very pretty. First time on Is this... Oh, Assassin's Creed? Oh yeah, this is the pirate one. People said the pirate parts are really fun. Or is this the pirate one? Or is that a different one? <laughs> Goddamn. Oh lord, the American civil religion. Don't even get me started. What? <laughs> Wait, what? I thought this was like a real- Whoa! Oh, sweet! Alright, that's pretty sweet. I, I would play this game yet again. Oh! I haven't played any of these games, but I really like the idea of them. What?! God, dude! Hell yeah. That is that is the game. That is like... How's everything looking? All right, we have time for one thing. Is it going to be the next Smash Bros. DLC character? It feels like strange that they would do that before they even really showed Joker footage, but could be. Or is this a brand new game? This looks like a brand new game. Oh wait, no. Is this? Uh. No, I don't know what the hell this is. I can't even guess. <laughs> oh, you have like a little pet robot. You guys team up together and fight. Okay. Well, that was cool. You know, you go around him. Gets all chained up. See, if somebody had shown me this and they were like, this is that Damon X Machina game, I'd be like, oh yeah, yeah. It's got like cyberpunky stuff. Oh, that was cool. She made it look like a computer. And he's got some Akira bikes. Because of how you were born. Doomed to be used. 
Ooh, you can have different robots, and some of them you can ride around on. I get it. Ooh, they said hell. Oh, Kamiya? Okay. Interesting, interesting. This is the brand new IP. They gave it the... the... the finale spot. What you hmm. just witnessed is Astral Chain, a brand new action game in development at Platinum Games. It looked like two characters were fighting together during battle, didn't it? Mm -hmm. I hope you're excited to learn more about how combat will play out in this game. Yeah, it looks interesting. I hope it's good. I don't know. I don't care. I'm sure you're very curious about Bayonetta 3. Oh. assured the developers of Bayonetta 3 are hard at work, and I hope you're looking forward to learning more. Our next title will be the last announcement of the day. Please check it out. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. That wasn't the finale spot. I was going based on the video recording, but that's right. I, I talked for like a minute or so before we started the video. Hmm. It's Animal Crossing. It's Animal Crossing. <laughs> nah, I don't know what the hell this is. Uh... It's Link on a boat. This is oh, this is uh Link's Link's Awakening. This is how Link's Awakening starts, right? And then you wash up on the beach. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it Link's Awakening remake? Yes, it is. Oh, damn. Okay, I'm about that, man. I haven't played that game in a long, long time. That's, that's so cool. That's so cool. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Holy crap, it's so pretty. <laughs> okay, that's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's for so many reasons. I love how clear it is that they really are just uh, Mario enemies, now that the graphics have updated. There's no kind of ambiguity. This is straight up a Goomba. Okay. Alright. I'm very happy. I'm very happy with that. What did you think? At long last, 1993's Game Boy Classic, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, will find new life on Nintendo Switch. Cool. After 26 years, it has been reborn as a new experience, and we'll have more to say in the future. Please look forward to its release. That's all nice. for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you so much for watching. Alright, sweet. Really, really good Nintendo Direct. I am super pumped. For a lot of things. Um... This is great. This is just so fantastic. Look at the logo. The logo with the palm trees, I think, just says it all. It just captures the aesthetic, I think, perfectly. Of, like, tropicalness, adventure. Oh, this is a beautiful trailer. Oh, oh, look at these graphics! That's so pretty! It has that, like, kind of tilt-shifted feel, where it kind of looks like you're almost looking into the screen. That there's actually a world inside of it. Um, plus, I think this game is like very good to adapt for the Switch. <clears throat> Given that it's like, um, because it was on the original Game Boy, it's one of the simpler Zeldas in terms of mechanics. Um, so I think it's like a great start for people who want to play a 2D Zelda on the Switch. But it's so like fertile for like quality of life enhancements. Um, they can really make it like modern in so many ways without really detracting too much. What a what a gorgeous! Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Um, I really do think it's funny just how much the Goomba looks like a Goomba. But uh, like spoiler and or theory spoiler or whatever. Um, this is all just in a dream, right? This is, that's the whole idea, is that Link is just dreaming this entire thing. He's, like, dead or something. <laughs> um, 
<clears throat> so it makes sense that there would be Mario enemies? Where's the Goombas? I wanted to see him bop the Goomba again. Alright, whatever. Okay, so that's awesome. This, I don't know. I hope it's good, but I don't really have any feelings about it, really. I don't think I'll play it. Uh, the spam of Final Fantasy titles here just, like, blew my blew me away. Because I was thinking, like, alright, you know, we're getting 7. 7 is great. I would play 7 again. But 9... Oh, man. Let me tell you. You know how much I want to right now? Just, like, quit my job, curl up on the couch, and play through all of Final Fantasy 9. Again. Yet again. <laughs> it is a, a deep craving. The way you long for sleep after a long, long day. That's the way my body longs for FF9. I just want to fall into it again. What a beautiful, charming, wonderful game. It's not quite as varied as 7. Final Fantasy 7. 7, the game where you literally just do everything. Find its new home on Nintendo but 9? 9 is just all gold. Every, every moment in that game is beautiful in its own way. Coziest game of all time, hands down. This I don't care about. Some of the stuff looked nice, but whatever. Sure, sure, sure. This this could be good too. I just really hope the skill ceiling is huge. This I definitely want to play. I guess this is what the, the battle system looks like now. You have a party, it looks like? Which is crazy. Um... I mean, that's not really spoilers, because the game's already out. This, I super want to play for just uh, extremely egotistical reasons. Because, like, I know where I want to go if I want to play competitive Tetris with people that are also, like, diehard Tetris players, right? But that's not what I really want sometimes. What I really want sometimes is just to, like, stomp on people. To just pub stomp. And, and this is the most facilitation of glorious pub stopping I've ever seen. So I assume to facilitate this, they're going to do like the versus replay system uh, where you're not necessarily playing against live people. Oh, wait, no, no, never mind. No, they can't do that, though, because when they show you garbage, um, you'll see here when the garbage comes up, it's it's like normal garbage with the hole. Whereas when they do versus replay mode, it's just like flat garbage that you clear just by clearing lines. Uh, I don't know what's going on up here. I'm going to assume that I don't have to care about it. But yes, I, I love what this will do to my ego. <laughs> um, I just wonder how popular it'll be. That if you're going to try to run it with 99 people, how quickly are you going to be able to get into a game? Because that's the thing with these Battle Royale games, uh, is that they really only work when the player base is high. When the player base starts going to low, so low that you can't quickly get into a full game, it's like a compounding effect, because nobody wants to play and wait when they can just play some other Battle Royale game. So the game will go from like 100 to 0, just like that. Um, with Tetris, it's not so bad, I guess, because it doesn't really scale that badly if there's less than 100 people. Like, it's not as hype, of course, but... Um, you you still get roughly the same gameplay. Whereas those Battle Royale games that aren't like a huge map, they just get more and more boring and, and not interesting if they if they don't have the full capacity. Look at all these scrubs. Is anyone playing well? No. I can beat all these people. Ha 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 ha. I'm the king of the, the trailer. Did they say when this game was coming out? I guess I'll have to get the Switch Online. I was hesitating. Because I kind of felt like done with Mario Kart. I didn't really care if I played Mario Kart Online anymore. And uh, I don't really care about playing Smash Ultimate Online. So I was like, alright, I guess I don't have to get this. But this is like really tempting. I went way too far. It's just, that's just so great. Oh, uh, play fa Why would you do that? Why would you burn a line at zero? Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, why are you so bad? Just put here, then tuck that in. Except, put that in your... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, actually, that was an okay play. All right. 
Uh, this I'm pretty excited for. I think the costumes are super cute. Look at all these costumes. I assume this is like stuff you pick up on the stage too, which is very fun. It gives like another layer of interaction and, and significance to uh, this sort of thing. Like it's not just a platform anymore. Maybe there's some sort of mechanic where you can like harvest it. I feel like that mechanic was actually in Little Big Planet. And a lot of the other stuff I'm seeing looks a lot like Little Big Planet. But whatever. I liked Little Big Planet fine, but I don't think the gameplay is quite there. Like just the mechanics. Whereas the mechanics of these have like varied. Um, I still think Yoshi's Island is hands down the best mechanically, but it's uh, it's always solid. It's always like pretty usable. It's just not like as tight and rewarding as the SNES one. Um, so look at all these JRPGs. This one I thought looks pretty cool. When 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 they did that, I was like, "Ooh, okay." Because at first I thought it was a random encounter, and then when I realized what happened, I was like, "Ooh, ooh, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on there." But I'm excited for on the behalf of Dragon Quest fans that this is coming to Switch. But I assume Dragon Quest fans have just already played it on PS4. But you know, that's cool. That's cool. Good for them. Uh, this game looks so sweet. I would I would love to sink like a hundred hours in this game, but. You know, I have a job and stuff. I'd like to play this too, but it's not like the highest priority. But this stuff. But this. Where is it? Ah. Oh. oh, baby. Oh. I should have known just from this. I should have known just from this that they were going to put in the slope. Alright, so let's see how it works. First off, let's see if we can spot anything new here. Uh, there's like multiple pages of enemies and all of these ones we've seen before. I think that was like very deliberate that they only showed us new or old things here. Um, wait, hey, no, yeah, there's Hammer Bros. What am I saying? Of course there's Hammer Bros. Uh, this is new though, the 10 coin coin. I hope they did something more with coins in this one though. Uh, before it was like, if you're doing 100 Mario Challenge, you get, uh, coins for one-ups to continue the challenge. Um, but there's not that much else that they do. So especially if you're just playing random levels and you have unlimited tries, um, the coins do nothing for you. And there's a channel I really like, Sieve Gaming, I think it's pronounced, C-E-A-V-E, -E, who does a lot of really interesting Mario Maker stuff. And he proposed some ways to make coins more interesting, that you can like buy cosmetics and stuff from an in-game store by collecting coins. I think that sort of thing would just make it a lot more interesting um, in terms of like making levels that like reward you beyond just beating it, which is I think another kind of general problem with Mario Maker. But anyways, um, yeah, I, I love Mario Maker. All right, let's check out these slopes again. I'm, I'm looking forward to going to Steve's channel after this and seeing uh, how he reacted to the news. Because um, that guy has has mined the very depths of Mario Maker. I, I think uh, he's ready for some new things. Um, Mario Maker has is a game that has been pushed to the limit in so many different ways. Uh, like glitch hunting to find crazy things to do. Um, people doing all sorts of like experimentation to figure out the absolute limits of the game. That's kind of what Steve is interested in. There's a lot of very interesting hacks with the game. Um, and then of course, like the, the Kaizo competition type stuff, like people making <clears throat> increasingly difficult levels that use basically every single mechanic in the game to some extent, testing your skill with every single possible interaction, it feels like. Um, I, it's just amazing that you see something like a slope. And of course it's appealing on all sorts of different levels. Um, but for me, where, where I'm like most excited by is just to see the Kaizo factor, <laughs> like how much more difficult can precision sliding get you. So it looks like you get two different types of slope, uh, two different gradients, and then you use this to determine, um, let's see what else we can observe here. This all looks the same, this looks fine. This is intriguing to me. 
Maybe this is like the partial water thing. Maybe this is giving yourself a... I don't know. I don't know what this is either. Nice. Oh, that's that's just beautiful. And there's the the more uh, gentle slope. All right, is there anything new here? I don't think so. I think that's all things we've seen before. And that uh, being, of course, the drum roll at the okay. All right, here's some crazy stuff. Hold on, hold on. Let's break this break this down one time. So these enemies I have never seen before in my life. The effect they're making is something that is in Mario Bros. 3 and also Lost Levels, uh, the like whirlwind type thing, um, but isn't in Mario World. So already we're seeing some like cross style um, new elements, which is exciting to me because I was a little worried that they would uh, like kind of neglect that in favor. I don't know. I don't know why I was really worried about that functionally. These enemies look interesting. Um, again, I'm thinking about how hard you can make them. <laughs> um, Angry Sun, of course, our boy coming through. This looks like a new background, too. Um, so I, I would hope that they would add this for all different styles, this kind of, like, evening mode. Maybe in OG mode and in Super Mario Bros. mode, this will be, like, the night levels, which is something you couldn't do before. The Angry Sun, though, that's that's hype. That's so exciting. Um, this is new arbitrary paths for your um, block snake chain thing. The use of the white arrows is interesting to me. I'm not really sure what that means. Let's see if we can... Ah, I'm too lazy. This is cool, the partial water. Um, this was our only in Mario World. I no, 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 Mario Bros. 3 has this too. Um, and maybe New Super Mario Bros. as well. But I remember it most from Mario World. That's cool. That is so cool. This is like the sort of thing that people like Sieve Gaming um, or, or other like Kaizo type level designers. Um, like either just for sheer difficulty or just for creativity, they would try to create things like this, um, this sort of mechanism, but now it just exists. <laughs> um, which just means, like, think about how much further they can go now. This is cool. Um, more complicated two-dimensional scrolling. <gasps> There's a slope! There's a slope in OG um, Mario Bros. Okay, so that's, really, that's, that's very reassuring. Oh, so this shows how many coins you have on the level. This shows... Oh, this is what's activated by the bird, I guess? Because it's, like, active right now. Yeah, it's, like, bouncing up and down. So that's what that means. Um, this, of course, is choosing your stage, your, your like, your, your aesthetic. Still don't know what this means. This might have something to do with water levels. Like, we never saw this level being edited, right? So maybe that's what that refers to. The The music they used for this is beautiful, too. Okay, all right, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Uh, there's a bunch of new stuff here. Ooh, four out of 50. That's intriguing as well. So maybe, like, optional bonuses for collecting all the coins on a level? That already makes me very happy. Or, like, coin high scores, things like that. I was already overjoyed when they added time high scores. Okay, there's a way to, like, go back and forth by one frame, isn't there? No, that's 10 seconds. That's the opposite of what we want. This has got to be... Okay, so... Mm, no, I don't think there's anything new there. These are just the invisible blocks, right? Here, again, I think the only new thing is the, the cat bell, um, which is pretty exciting. I don't know if that's going to be like a situational power-up. Like, in other modes, it's going to be something different. I also don't see the, the propeller cap. I hope they didn't take it out. 
The cat has never been in 2D either, has it? Alright, whatever. Here, this thing is new. The ant soldier. This guy is new, I'm pretty sure. Spiny man. Uh, this is this type of piranha that comes out horizontally. Is new. This bee is new. Whatever this mouse thing is, is new. These guys are both new. Um, these are all enemies that I vaguely remember seeing in New Super Mario Brothers games. Like, I know this Piranha Plant is. I think I remember this guy. These guys look like they could be. So again, what I'm really hoping for is that these are accessible in all styles. But that's like one of the more forgivable things if it's not. Because it's just like an enemy type. This is cool, you can put stuff in the tree, and then you have to climb the tree. So that, like, climbing animation, I suppose you can do it in world as well. But, uh... Alright, this is cool. That, that's very cool. This is really cool. When the, when it goes up around the pipe, that's gonna lead to some very interesting things. This is cool, the, the chain chomps coming towards you. Not chain chomps, bullet bills, I'm sorry, or bonsai bills, if I want to be accurate. Um, this thing, I'm not sure what's going on here. It looks like some sort of speed boost. These grates, I assume you can climb on, which is cool. I think that's new. Yeah, I'm almost positive that's new. I don't know what this is. Looks pretty crazy. Um, but this level, the, the amount of stuff going on here, I easily would have believed that this was just like an actual Mario level. <laughs> this thing is new, the tilty platform. That's very cool. Um, again, something only possible due to slopes. This is new, this is like the 10 coin coin, which of course goes back to this. The fact that there's some sort of coin high score, coin completionism mechanic. Um, this is new, parachutes? That's really hype. I assume you can just put a parachute on everything, just like you can put wings on everything. So hell yeah to that. Uh, here, I think having red Yoshi is new, isn't it? There's no colored Yoshis before. So red Yoshi is of course the fire spitting one, so that's why he's doing like 500 billion fireballs. Um, this background is absolutely nuts. Is this yet another aesthetic style? Uh, yeah, here we see Goombas with parachutes. This is a, like a Boom Boom. Um, that's also new. That gives me a lot of faith that the enemies are all cross style because Boom Boom is like New Super Mario Bros. and Mario Bros. 3. Um, so I would assume they would just put them in all of them now. Okay. Oh, that's so soon. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, lordy lordy. I wish I didn't have a job. I wish I could just degen hard and play hard Mario levels all day, every day. But alas, I also need to make money. Such as this workaday world. Anyways, this is a great Nintendo Direct. This is game of the year. And other things happen too. Alright, bye bye. Now we're just back to... Waiting for the next Nintendo Direct. <laughs> See ya.